so hello everyone uh, welcome again and going to continue the spec flow tutorial series and we'll see the practical example over the uh, scenario outline so what are the scenario outlines that we have already discussed so let's switch to just revise the last session and in the last session you have seen uh, what is a background and how can you perform the practical things over the background using the background so exactly what is the scenario outlines in the spec flow scenario outlines like uh, assume a scenario where you need to execute the same scenario the same test case with a multiple times multiple times with a different data in each ex execution you need to pass a unique data over there so uh, let's switch to the my visual studio and perform this task so let's create a test case using the scenario outline so I'm gonna remove the old data from there so just background will be there and I'm gonna remove everything and our the steps also okay I need to keep some step like navigate to the URL this one I need to save and and click to the input form Apart from this two, I'm gonna remove everything so I'm not gonna confuse you. So I remove this all that. So now it's fine. So in the background, whenever I'm gonna execute the test case, my scenario, this two will uh, execute automatically. So let's write the scenario outlines to uh, outlines to enter the scenario outlines. Just use this syntax and and fill the form fill the fill the input form this will be my heading and so what we are going to perform in this so a uh, user is going to uh, navigate in the background task is going to navigate to the URL and click to the input form it means we are going to the selenium demo uh, application so it will redirect on this uh, page so at the very first it will click on this drop down and click on the simple demo form so this is the background task and here we are going to pass the different data in every execution so let's see how can we achieve this so already we are on the page so given I am on the input page input form or you can say user is on this will be a better way to write user is on the input form page when user user enter so I'm gonna pass a text here so I'm gonna use this parameter so whatever the data you into enter multiple times you can read write this data in this syntax enter message in input and click and user click to show button then I user can see user can see the text will print the text over there so now the very first step uh, just create an example so here we have example so my variable name is message here so what the parameter I'm going to use here is a message so just I'm gonna enter the parameter message here then I'm going to enter the values so first message is hello the second message I'm gonna enter the hello code one SMS that is codec and the second is the third one is codec so I'm gonna execute this three time and every time I'm gonna pass a unique message okay so now my scenario is ready in Gherkin language so let's create a step for this so just right click on the given sentence go to the definition this is the way to create the step definition just click on the yes when you click on the yes button it will copy the definition you just need to write the definition here so what I need to perform on this line I need to perform in this line user on the input page in the background task already user is in the page 
so we can verify some text there or just I'm gonna print a message here like user is on the page so it's unnecessary but I'm gonna write a simple message here user is on the page user is on the page so you can uh, put a session there like user is available on the or uh, user is not on the page or not so next step user enter a message so this message every time this message will come so create a definition for this also right click copy it i'm gonna paste it here so this time we are going to perform the operation we are going to whatever the data will come uh, from this <coughs> it will come to this uh, message icon uh, it will come in this message parameter so it's uh, not going to copy like uh, let me use so you need to use the parameter syntax here so let me find some if I got and we have no we don't have this no okay no problem this, I'm gonna use this so in this star the message will come and here I'm gonna use a parameter a string t0 will be default parameter but this time it's not creating so if you want to uh, see how the de by default it will create just remove this just remove this thing and again remove this and now let's try if it work okay now it's working so first you can create this is a, a bug from the spec flow side so you at the, at the very first you can create the message here then you can write the example things the examples and okay. now it's okay so now uh, the very first you can create the message in the, this step definition then you can write here so now in this definition in the p0 string in the every execution the new data will come in the p0 so we can change the name also so the name will be i can write the name as a message okay so this message we need to enter in this input box you just grab the x path of this so I just copy the X part of this field and I'm gonna pass this message in this X part. So drivers dot find element by X part. So what is my X part? It is the X part. So I need to enter this and this icon. Okay. So just change the double quotes in the single quotes. And to send the message in an input box, what we use in the automation, this is send key in the and the C sharp. So here, what I need to pass, I need to pass this message parameter, this message parameter. So this step definition is done. Uh, okay. Now, and user click on the so button. So again, create a definition and enter the definition here. <coughs> now, again, I need a X path of this button so message so i'm gonna click here i'm going to copy the export and let's see let's write another line drivers dot find element by export by dot export and to paste the exact export here and what we're going to perform here with click operations so just click on it now the last step user can see the message there okay got it so copy it wait, 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 wait. so again to verify the message what we need to do we need to need a path x path of this level so i just need move to this and ID is display so it will generate X path. So let's grab this text, get the text. So again, driver dot find element by 
hex part and this is the ID over there. So you can pass in the double quotes, change the double quotes in a single quote. And what it will return? It will return a text. So I think we should accept and uh, store the variable in the string type. So message showing me error or to the safe side you can convert this forcefully in the two strings so, so the two string is there to convert this in a string so let's print this message to verify what the result is there so console dot right line and I'm gonna enter the message message hope it's done so this is completely done now let's test it execute it so first i'm gonna build it so everything is fine i guess I'm gonna build it let's start done so now you will check the new sample here it's fill the so you can see uh, under this fill the form input form you will check the three different 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 test cases the first one with the message codec then code one then hello so now I'm gonna run it and let's check the output over there. So in the first execution, let's reload the browser, open the browser, navigate to the simple form, and I think it's enter the message also, but it's not showing because the execution the third browser is going to opening. So in the next video, we'll fix. Uh, and every execution on the single browser is should be open over there so I think it's not going to copy it here let me check oh it's failed so it didn't find any export uh, selected user message okay and click to input form is not working I guess this okay so for the safe side i'm going to use some wait there just dot delay uh, five second wait it will help me to wait and for the message display also I'm going to use this after clicking on this so it's not going to click on the form so I need to verify this X path from the background let's check it no time let's copy the X path and copy the X path and to check the export is it there it's for the input forms after this i need to click on this also so i'm gonna get the export of this this is the simple form i'm gonna copy it and then i'm gonna enter a line here one more line driver to find element why or actually you can write this in this line also so it will be uh, more understandable so driver dot find element by x part and to copy the x part here just change the double quotes in a single quotes and perform the click operation here so let's remove the old one <coughs> so now I put a sufficient weight also so it will you can see the message so as I'm using the driver in the main class in the same class so it will every time in a regular every, every question in every execution it will open the new browser but so not don't worry we'll solve it in the next session and will show you also how can you solve it so let's run it again and check the output this time so in the first execution 
let's reload the browser and wait for the five second click on the simple browser enter the hello message and show the hello message now again open the same uh, another browser and then the instance of the browser will navigate to the simple form and this time it will enter this different message it's okay the third time should be intercoding there so this is the all about the uh, scenario outlines you can see the same test case is executing but with a different data every time it's going to insert different data so there one more thing is there in the speak flow is called table we'll discuss in the upcoming tutorial like here what is going on in the every equation all the steps are executing multiple times so we can do the one thing like we can repeat this only one step which is come under the table so we'll discuss in the later so thank you so much for watching if you like the spec flow tutorial and or if you have any kind of uh, doubt or you have any queries you can comment me out you can directly reach me so we'll try to solve it thank you